Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Minority Report. What do you know about this movie? Tom Cruise. Yeah, it has Tom Cruise. And this one, our Sci-Fi Patreon poll. So we would like to thank all our patrons for voting for this to win our Sci-Fi Patreon poll. So I have seen this movie before, so this is only your first time seeing it. Yes, and I don't at all know what this film is about. Yeah, you don't know anything other than Tom Cruise. Yes, Tom Cruise and it's Sci-Fi. Yeah, so I think I've seen this movie maybe twice. It's been a while. But I think I remember the majority of important moments throughout the movie. Um, so there'll definitely be some stuff that surprises me, but I'm more excited to see you try to pick this movie apart. All right. Sounds like a challenge. Yeah. I'm excited. We've done a few Tom Cruise movies, I feel like. Yeah. Most recently, I think we did Collateral. Yes. Yeah. That was a different role for him. Yeah. Kind of the villain. Yeah. But we saw A Few Good Men. Is that yes. A Few yeah. Good Men. I forgot about that. That yeah. was a really good film. Yeah. So Tom Cruise always crushes it. So I'm really excited. Yeah. Me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Oh, and don't cry. What the fuck? Oh man, this is intense. All right, so those people just died. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, there's a lot in this movie. <laughs> Pre-crime. All right. Thirty-two years away. Remote witnesses are plugged in. This will be case number one one zero eight. Oh, those balls were bigger than I thought. I thought they were like marbles. Oh yeah, they're like uh, like oh. bowling balls. Uh. Uh, pool. Pool balls. <laughs> Time of murder eight oh four a.m. That is twenty-four minutes thirteen seconds from now. Twenty-four minutes from now. Where are you? This guy's about to kill in 24 minutes. He looked familiar. A oh, man standing in the park across the street. Oh my God. This so was the husband. I got six licenses. Where do you want them? Over here, please. Oh, so it's the top guy. This is cool though. Yeah, right? You know, I was thinking maybe I'd play hooky. Stay home today. I have an open house here at the wrestler place. She's already got an appointment. Time frame? 13 minutes. Did you investigator from the- Running out of time. John, I wrote it down on your calendar. I left you a message at your house. Check in with the papers they had at Ford and see if the neighbors knew where- Oh, hey, this guy. Yeah. From Band of Brothers. Oh, yeah. Danny Woodward. Twink from the Fed. Is that Colin Farrell? Yeah. He's so young. Killers here. All we have to run on are the images that they produce. <laughs> I thought they said twins, but there's three. With crimes of passion, there's no premeditation, so they show up late. Oh. We rarely see anything with premeditation anymore. People have gotten the message. <laughs> <laughs> no one even thinks about killing anymore. Ten minutes. Oh. So from the minute he saw that guy across the street is when he decided. And they had the balls before that. There you go, Randy. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was like, is it a mirror? Only 16 of these old America rounds left in the city. It's gotta be Barnaby Woods. If I'm on a flight time. The way I drive, three minutes after wheels up. Is that Arizona Robbins? Oh. Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I need oh. another look at her. Claire! 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 Oh. She's got an open house. <laughs> <laughs> What a ship. Can't even hear you over there. <laughs> it's a loud ship. Yeah. Man, they wasted no time when he left though. Right? It's just straight to it. The bed is soft. I'm soft. Ooh. Oh shit, they all look the <laughs> same. Oh, but it was the sprinkler. Where he pulled, oh, there's two. There's three. <laughs> Which one is it? Gotta do the angles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is horrifying. The front door is open. The front door is open. 
I forgot my glasses. You know how blind I am without them. Oh, man. Man, right on time. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin that was to take place today. I didn't do anything. Didn't do anything yet. Oh, this looks traumatizing for these guys. Yeah. Well, that's just an echo. Uh, Pre-called deja vu, if you will. And so they have to relive it again. There hasn't been a single murder. So if you want to murder, you just have to not live in D.C. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> just think about killing someone outside of D.C. You want the customary clarity or the new and improved kind of clarity? I guess there's no pre-crime for finding out drugs. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Oh! But you don't have any eyes. <laughs> well, he's not king. No. <laughs> he needs at least one eye. <laughs> man, a lot's gonna change in 30 years. Right? It gives some, uh, like, Blade Runner, Fifth Element type of vibes. Mm -hmm. I think this was also supposed to be in the same universe or a sequel to uh, Total Recall, which we've seen. Oh, love Total Recall. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> Can you teach me how to run faster? I love you, Daddy. Aww. Put the camera down or you're not getting anything tonight. Oh, that worked. <laughs> Didn't really look like there was traffic. No. pre conks see the future and they're never wrong. But it's not the future if you stop it. Yeah. Why'd you catch that? Because it was gonna fall, but it didn't fall. You caught it. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Cops aren't allowed inside the temple. If it's a question of authority. No, there is no question. You don't have any. <laughs> Permission from the Attorney General of the United States. You're now operating under my supervision. That was fast. Just took over. They don't feel any pain. We keep their heads pretty well stocked with dopamine and endorphins. Jeez. They're just pumped full of drugs? Hope of the existence of the divine. Power's always been with the priests, even if they had to invent the oracle. Well, you guys are nodding like you actually know what the hell he's talking. <laughs> We're more like clergy than cops. Go to work. All of you. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. If there's a flaw, it's human. It always is. He's like really pushing it. Yeah. Wallet. Jesus! <laughs> Oof, that was... <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Oh, I was not expecting a jump scare. Say, I don't ever see any of you pre-cops down here. I'm not in trouble, am I? Not yet. Who's he? He's definitely in a bunch of stuff. I don't know what we've seen him in, though. She's a golden oldie, one of our first. Just show me Agatha's data stream. Whoa. Man, are these the prisoners? That's not what I was expecting. He drowned a woman named Anne Lively out at Roland Lake. Never identified. So they found him, but they can't identify him? Yeah, I guess. On account of those are not his eyes. He had them swapped out to fool the scanners. Oh, your drug dealer. We don't seem to have her data. Looks like she's a neuro and addict. I understand you've been spending a lot of time in the sprawl. I go running down there. Oh man, keeping tabs on him. I'm not a generation anyone listens to, but people trust you, John. It's a belief born of pain, not politics. Your pain is hurting both of us. They're not gonna take it away from us. I believe him. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what happened to his son. But I, I guess his wife is still alive. That's who was concerned about him. That's what it sounded like. Bingo. You just go in his house? I guess. Are the witnesses ready to preview and validate number 1109? Ready when you are, John. I like their witnesses. Yeah. So we've got a third party wearing sunglasses just out the window. Out the window? Yeah. Goodbye, Chris. Wait! Wait. Wait. You say something, Chief? Going down and getting me a piece of cake they're eating down there. I think I'll get one for myself while I'm at it. Oof, saved by cake. What about the witnesses? Confused about... <laughs> I like you, Chief. I'll give you two minutes before I hit the alarm. Oh, shit! Two minutes is pretty generous. Hold that, please. 
Oh. This guy. I'm surprised it wasn't this guy who he murdered. Possession alone cost you six months. I don't hear a red ball. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> Even know who the victim is no nope. so how is this premeditated like he has to meet this person <laughs> like now I'm Whitworth it's Whitworth he's yet to who's the victim I've never heard of him revised destination office Lamar they found me uh oh just took over his car <laughs> oh shit oh. <laughs> is he gonna try to carjack somebody <laughs> person in the car <laughs> oh he just landed into the perfect pose gosh are you okay <laughs> so, am i he's like are you okay <laughs> he came to see you the other day right before he was tagged what did you talk about the match i like this guy you're gonna get that guy to change out his eyeballs Jeez, they're just tracked everywhere. Wow, that was quick. Yeah. Police with jetpacks? This is plan here. Ooh. You scared me. <laughs> oh my god, that just made him projectile vomit. He's like helping them out. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Oh. Jeez, just causing chaos. Some intense guns. Ooh. Man, he's <laughs> wrecking them. Oh! He's along for the ride, too. Jeez! <laughs> oh, they gotta get out of here. Why is this such a violent car? Just crush him in there? <laughs> you son of a bitch. It's not a very inconspicuous car though. No, but it might not be traceable just quite yet. True, if he stole it before it went through its... Normal process. Yeah. Like a friend totally off the map. Uh -oh. What the? Security. <laughs> oh, got him good. Yeah, they gotta be poisonous, I guess. You better drink this. Soon you won't be able to swallow and then you'll be totally buggered. <laughs> You think the three in the tank come out of a test tube? They are merely the ones who survived. She the lady in the vision that's laughing? I don't think so. No. Right? These little children dreamt only of murder over and over. That's horrible. I've never met the man I'm supposed to kill. The precogs are never wrong. They do disagree. Ooh. Why didn't I know about this? Because these minority reports are destroyed to the instant they occur. Minority report. <laughs> there can't be any suggestion of fallibility. Right? It's like plausible doubt. That instills doubt. It may be reasonable, but it's still doubt. What about those people that I put away with alternate futures? If the country knew there was a chance... This system would collapse. Jeez. It would be stored in a safe place, but not declared. Oh, whoa. Inside the precog who predicted it. Creepy. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why 
Why'd you kiss me? I'm sure that you know all sorts of people who can help you out. Ooh, not your eyes. Interested in one thing and one thing only. Survival. So in survival. Hey, how'd you precursor that? <laughs> it's always in the more gifted of the three. Female. Duh. <laughs> we concentrate on the sprawl. It's gonna the entire area. Read anything with eyes on a heartbeat. Jeez. What movie is that? <laughs> oh. Wait, you wouldn't break the hand of a violinist before the concert. That is true, he needs his hands. He's about to cut out your eyes. To remove your eyes completely. I know that, but I want to keep the old ones. Why? Because my mother gave them to me. <laughs> it's my gorgeous assistant. None of this looks sanitary. <laughs> no, she didn't even wash her hands. Plastic surgeon. You remember? I put you away. Oh no. You set your patients on fire. I'll put them out. Oh, God. I know what you're thinking, John. Oh, no. I could never. This makes me want to throw up. Education, a real. What? <laughs> this is so gross. <laughs> My eyes. I know. <laughs> Your eyes are watering. It's like a uh, clockwork orange. Yeah. I left him because every time I looked at him, I saw my son. That's why I left him. Jeez. If you take him off before then, you'll go blind. How's he gonna get around? Pals and all, I'm gonna give you a bonus. It might come in handy. People won't even recognize you, okay? Leftovers. Oh, jeez. When it rings tomorrow, you can take off the bandages and get the hell out of here. A little something. Man, this guy's just giving him everything. Oh, so that's how he found him. Yeah, with the uh, guy with no eyes. I assume maybe you could just sell your eyes on the black market. Like he sold them to whatever, for drugs or something. You know I'm gonna beat that way. Yeah. John? Just like that. John, I'm looking for my son. It is so packed. So stressful. What was that? I don't know, hopefully it was ice. Oh no. God. Oh, you. Oh my God. Oh, that whole scene was disgusting. Man, if there's mechanical spiders in the future, I don't want to be in it. Oh, jeez. That is like crazy. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh man, he's blocking him out. He's gotta get into like an ice bath, right? Smart. Was that exactly what he's doing? Seems like it. I mean, he knows the, the robots, system yeah. and how they're tracking people in the building. Better cool down quick. We lost one. Roger that. I'll go check it out. Oh no. Oh, he's gotta hold his breath for a long time. Oh. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. no. Oh my God, that can't be good. It's not him. Standing down. Let's see. Thank God he was hungry. Is he gonna lose his sight in one of his eyes, you think? Maybe, I don't know. There's four people in this room, not three. It's definitely female. The District of Columbia is the safest city Wait. in America because pre-crime works. <laughs> As this guy walks past. Millions of pieces of mail every year. Each pre crime has their own bedroom. <laughs> Oh, he's already in there? Yeah. I'm sure he knows his way around. Oh my god. His face. If he's gonna use his eyes, it's not gonna set off the same. I'm sure it's gonna set off some alarms, but... They can't find him. Oh 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I don't remember this movie being so gross. Oh. Holy crap. Ident John Anderson approved for entry. Man, they didn't even take away his... Approval? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I like you, Wally. So I don't want to have to kick you or hit you with anything hard. Oh, hi, John. <laughs> it's Agatha. He's coming here to get her. Oh. Ooh. Can you see? At least that was a nicer this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't jump out and grab him. Oh. oh. You tell me they can't see murders Maybe anymore. Maybe if you taken one of the males, but Agatha, she's the key. 51 minutes, 30. Oh, that's not much time at all. Is it now? Yes, this is all happening right now. Her life has to be a just pure nightmare. All she sees is murder. We got guys coming when experience sex as a woman. We got women coming when to get laid by their favorite soap star. Whoa, okay. I want to kill my boss. Bastard. You're the kind of person that makes us a terrible world to live in! <laughs> She's got information inside of her. I need you to get it out. I mean, he's seen all that. Where's my minority report? Do I even have one? No. Oh, shit. You want me to see who killed Dad Lively? Are you recording this? Yeah, but look, it's pouring out of her backwards. Oh, was it... Is it the guy that he kills? No, but he should be in jail. Is it him? All your old teammates. I can't give any information away. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, she's struggling. Yeah. Can you see the umbrella? Wait. <laughs> Anybody got an ID? <laughs> Man, it definitely pays to have someone who can see the future. He knows. Don't go home. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever is going on in her life. Drop some money. Can't you put it in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> the difference that every little detail makes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay, so it's a billboard. Mind if I look at the register? Yeah. How about now? Help yourself. <laughs> okay, well, what were you looking at? <laughs> Gotta find him. Crow. Leo Crow. You have a choice. Walk away. Do it now. I'm not gonna kill the man. I don't even know him. I feel like you should listen to her. It's getting closer. Where's nine? Oh man, already open or unlocked. I feel like he should give her his gun. Right? Just be unarmed. Oh, so this was 109. Where is he? Just like, how does this relate to this lady in the lake? Oh no! He took his son? Oh, he is gonna kill him. This is Sean. My son. Uh, he should have listened to her. Yeah, he should have just left. Six years I've thought about only two things. Your son would look like if he were alive today. I would do to the man who took him. There is no minority report. I don't have an alternate future. Uh. I am going to kill this man. You still have a choice. The others never saw that. Oh, no. Did I? <laughs> I don't know. He's alive. Where have you got him? Tell me, you fuck, where is he? I was gentle. What the fuck? Dark. I'm so very sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> mm. 
Do it. This is the moment. Yeah, the right to an attorney. I feel like he needs to put the gun down. If you don't go through with this, my family gets nothing. You're supposed to kill me. What? You told me I'd be released if I went along. Oh. If you did what? Was it Colin Farrell? If I acted like I killed your kid, okay? Didn't even kill his kid. I tell you who it was and my family gets nothing. Make you do this. Yeah. Don't kill me. Oh, no. Oh. Leo, let go of the gun. Go back, bro. Anderson, wait a second! He didn't even do it! Nope. Oh my god. This is what we'd call an orgy of evidence. No many orgies I had as a homicide cop, Gordon. None. Yeah, these cops don't know murder. This was all arranged. So it wasn't him. Colin Farrell? Yeah. This is the murder of a woman named Ann Lively. This is from the twins, Arthur and Dashiell. Now this one is from the cyber parlor. It's, it's the same prevision. Uh, <laughs> Colin Farrell about to get it. <laughs> I think this guy's kind of guilty. Away from shore. Now the second image. The winds change. The ripples are moving the other way. This murder's taking place at two different times. What if a technician only thought he was looking at an echo? Really looking at was a completely different murder altogether. Two identical at the same place? Well, almost identical. Pre-crime stops the murder from taking place. Oh. Thinks he's looking at an echo. Erases it. Do you know what I hear? Nothing. No footsteps up the stairs. Click at the click of little spiders. Oh, you're dead, man. The precogs can't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was loud. That was loud. <laughs> oh, the silence. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. I thought it was you. Yeah, you thought he was the bad guy, but he was a good guy. This is giving me LA Confidential flashback. Oh, fuck. Yikes. Oh, my heart. That was so loud. You have to help him. Is he there? Yes. Oh, no. Keep them there. I'm on my way. Ah, she has no idea. Yeah. Don't let John leave. All right? And also, he totally just lost the satisfaction of thinking he at least found the person that killed his son. Yeah. Still has no idea what happened with that. But she has to know that he's coming. I feel like she's going to figure it out. Agatha? Yeah. But why would they set you up? Because I found out about her. How could I not have seen this? There you go. And lively. Yeah, Colin Farrell figured it out first. <laughs> Sean, he's 10 years old. He wants to be a vet. He likes to run like his father. So much love in this house. I want him back so bad. That was brutal. So did she. She just wanted her little girl back, but it was too late. She didn't die, but she's not alive. Who killed your mother? Who killed Anne Lively? Oh. But you're gonna have to run again. For the murders of Leo Crow and Danny Whitworth. It's like Danny. That's it. Did you put it together that was her mom? Not until <laughs> he's like, what happened to your mom? I missed you so much. This poor guy must have been stressing hard while yeah. she was gone. Man, I do not remember him getting caught. Like, how the fuck does he get out of this? Finally found the man who killed your son. Who's Anne Lively? Oh. I don't know who that is. I look over the Whitworth evidence. See if anyone drowned a woman. What did you say her name was? Anne Lively. She didn't say anything about drowning. Never said she drowned. <laughs> so awkward. The press conference is starting. I'll be right there. Don't leave. Tomorrow, I'll come by the cottage. Oh man, all of his lies are unraveling. Ra <laughs> Say that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> all of his lies are unraveling. I'd Didn't like a you. word with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you to let him out. How did you get in here? 
Oh, she had one of his eyes still. <laughs> Hello, Lamar. I just wanted to congratulate you. You did it. <laughs> Agatha's mother, she cleaned herself up. And she wanted her daughter back. Without her, you wouldn't be where you are now. Standing there, signing autographs. <laughs> He's in the room. Yeah, let's think before you send that. Send it. Oh, man. Left all alone. He looks so stressed. Everyone's about to see. Just fainting. You made the real murder look like an echo. What are you gonna do? You gonna murder someone, Lamar? We got a red ball. Crime of passion. Think about the lives that little girl saved. Could have saved Sean. Don't you ever say his name! That was the one thing you knew that would drive me to murder. Forgive me, John. How much time do they have? <laughs> right. Doesn't seem like much. If you don't kill me, precogs were wrong and pre-crime is over. If you do kill me, you go away. But it proves the system works. Oh man, which choice? You know your own future, which means you can change it. <laughs> Dang. They definitely were a little late. They had like 30 seconds to get there. <laughs> wow, you just watched him murder a lady and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> All prisoners were unconditionally pardoned and released, although police departments kept watch on many of them. Yeah. I mean, if you got a second chance, would you really <laughs> try to do it again? Right. Try to kill someone. They look so different. Out of the pool. With hair. Transferred to an undisclosed location. A place where they could find relief from their gifts. I mean, they still see those nightmare... That's what I was thinking. Like, they can't just turn that off, right? Unless they're, like, far away from people. They look pretty secluded. Oh, maybe. Maybe there's a distance type of thing. All right. That was Minority Report. What'd you think? That was, like exciting there was so much going on i think that i've made it pretty clear from a lot of other films that we've watched that i love like trying to figure out what's happening if there's gonna be like a twist or like a whodunit type of thing uh -huh. um so this was like right up my alley i figured you would really like this for that specific reason because throughout the majority of the movie you're like what the fuck is going on yeah and watching it again it was way more like dark and there was a lot more like jump scares. Yeah, um, it was gross. It was gross. And there were some like real intense moments for sure. So I really enjoyed watching it again. It definitely does have a different feel when you kind of already know the main spoiler. Yeah. There was definitely moments that I didn't remember that were shocking to me again, but I obviously knew who the main bad guy was. So early on in the movie, I think there was a time where you're like, oh, I like this guy or something. Always. Why do I always do that? <laughs> They always uh, trick me, like with Kathy Bates and Misery. Right. Oh, so lucky he found her. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was funny. But I remember the first time I watched this, I hated Colin Farrell's character. You know, screw this guy. Like, you know, obviously you want Tom Cruise to win, whatever that means. Yeah. I was probably more shocked at the death of Colin Farrell's character, Danny, I believe, than I was with Lamar's twist the first time I saw it. Yeah, I definitely think in... I don't want to be spoilery if people haven't seen it, but we did do a reaction to LA Confidential and it did remind me of a moment in that where it's like someone figures something out right at the last second, but then it's too late and then you get killed for it. Yeah, you have that moment of kind of explaining the situation unknowingly to the person who's actually evil and behind it and then you get taken out. Yeah. Definitely gave me a feeling of other movies that We've seen some on the channel and some not. Yeah. Uh, I know it's technically was supposed to be related to Total Recall, I mm -hmm. believe. It had a lot of vibes of Fifth Element. Yes. Like even the style of the cars, you have the, the female character who's just like, 
confused and shaking and doesn't know where, what's yes. going on. Yep. It had some sort of uh, Blade Runner type of vibes when you're walking through and he has all of the commercials like going after him like, oh, hey, John. Hey, John. So it definitely had a lot of vibes of different sci-fi movies. I also was a little bit thinking kind of Demolition Man a yes. little bit. Obviously, this wasn't like a utopian type place like Demolition Man was like trying to become, but it still had kind of that like overly controlling factor. Yeah. Of all the cameras everywhere and they were always watching you. They knew where you were. And the fact that there just wasn't crime in those areas yeah. technically. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, that's a great reference as well. Pools from a bunch of different movies, I feel like, but overall, it's a fantastic movie. I I think. Yeah, no, I mean, Tom Cruise is great. I feel like every film that I've seen him in, he's really great. Yeah, he's amazing. Um, he's a really good actor. And he's committed. I know for a fact, I don't know for a fact, but I have to know for a fact that he did that freaking did eye, <laughs> the eye oh. thing specifically. Oh, I forgot. I already forgot about that. I think I like blocked that out of my mind. Yeah. Um, that was disgusting. That made me super, super, super uncomfortable. Or drinking that putrid milk and stuff. Yeah, and the I mean, sandwich. I'm, I'm sure that was a fake sandwich. Yeah, stuff. I mean, the sandwich and the milk probably weren't real, but the <laughs> eye thing, I don't know. I remember there was comments on Clockwork Orange that had said that it was real they actually had to do that um, to the actor. I don't know, obviously this is a little bit later than that, so maybe there was a way to not have to do it, but it looked pretty real to me. I think he did that for sure. And I think yeah, also well. in Clockwork Orange, I think it damaged um, his eyes in real life. Yeah, I'm sure that they, they were obviously much more careful. Hopefully, but um, yeah, Tom Cruise is crazy. <laughs> I'm sure Tom Cruise's eyes were insured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the, something. Tom, you don't need to do this. Shut up. I'm doing it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I very much enjoyed the film. Obviously, we had a pretty stacked cast. There was a decent amount of recognizable people in the film. Yeah, people we've seen on the channel. Yeah, and then obviously Colin Farrell, he was really good. Yeah. The one thing that I was like surprised about is obviously he's Irish but I feel like he didn't have a very thick accent in this, but then they talked about his family being Irish. And like his, I think his dad got killed in the steps of a church in Dublin. Right, so I was like, where's your accent? Uh, they probably I don't just know. asked him to, you know, tone it down, tone it down a little bit to make it so people could he understand him. Yeah, that was the only thing that I was like, <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for you to just <laughs> do have whatever. An yeah. But no, Colin Farrell was great. I mean, I did not like him at the second that he started like smacking that gum. Oh yeah. Obviously, that's a thing. Like you don't chew gum on camera, and that's exactly why. They make him very annoying very quickly. Yeah, I think that he's like you know he comes off as like oh he's the FBI kind of know it all guy. Guy. He's on a power trip, like all of these things, but he is like a good guy and he got to the bottom of it a little bit too late. Yeah, I mean, if he would have been in a different situation, he would have freed John from all of his troubles by just figuring things out. But yeah. of course, he talked to the one person he shouldn't have. Yeah, and the actress that played Agatha was great. She did look familiar, so I do want to look that up, but she was great. I mean, like you said, it totally gave me like Fifth Element vibes with her. Yeah. I feel like she just had like such a wide range of like emotions in playing her character, whether she was like getting visions, that jump scare right in the beginning <laughs> was great. Her kind of like portrayal of seeing the future, all of it. I feel like she was, she was really good as well. She was great. I mean, there's a couple of highlight moments for sure when John is in the apartment or whatever to kill Leo Crow and stuff. And she's just like, you have a choice, yeah. leave, leave. She's super convincing. When shit starts going down, she's like screaming. It just makes everything so chaotic. Yeah, the end, she's screaming like you're gonna have to run again. That's my favorite moment of hers when she yeah. just like screams run and it transitions to the ships like coming in. It kind of morphs her scream into like the engine yeah. of the ships. I, that's one of my favorite moments for sure. Yeah. There's definitely some, some things that I, uh, thought just played out differently. Like I thought he ran in that scene <laughs> and he just got away. I never remembered him getting caught by the cops. <laughs> Another scene that I just totally don't remember at all was when he met with the woman who created all of this mm -hmm. and she had all of the plants that were like alive. Mm -hmm. Well, I know plants are already alive, but these were like extra plants. <laughs> yeah, she was like mutating these plants to uh do what she wanted, whether they were like security plants, the yeah. vines. Everyone in this movie knocked it out of the park. It was very stressful. The action is 
a little fun, but still believable. Like, mm-hmm. it's a little ridiculous at some points mm-hmm. uh, with the jetpacks and, like, burning the burgers and, like, <laughs> smashing the table and people being, Whoa, what happened to my table and stuff? Yeah. So it has fun with the action, but it's still believable within the universe. Yeah. So I really enjoyed it. Even, like, the getting built into the car and then driving off into the in the Somehow car. Somehow he ended up on top in <laughs> yeah. perfect condition on his seat. And a brand new Lexus and yeah. drives off. So <laughs> the action is fun, but the rest of the movie is very serious mm-hmm. and the topic is very serious. If someone can predict your future, does that mean that you are responsible for that at some point? Yeah. Uh, but then if you know your future, then you have the choice of changing it. But what happens if you don't? Like the people who change their future, like uh, John and Lamar, they both changed the future, but they were aware of what was going to happen to a certain degree, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, nobody else knew. Like the first guy with the scissors. Yeah. I think he was gonna do it. I mean, he was like I mean, inches yeah, he away. Just, Tom Cruise just like grabbed his arm. Grabbed his, he was inches away from yeah. stabbing his wife with scissors, but he was still like, oh, I wasn't gonna do it. So it plays with interesting themes overall for the movie. Right, and then the fact that they do have the minority report, yeah. it's like, he was freaking out that he was like, I put away innocent people, if not every single person that we saw visions of actually were going to go through with that. That's a huge just kind of oversight on purpose to be like, well, yeah, there's errors, but we just don't pay attention to the errors. So then it's perfect. Yeah. And it's like, what? Yeah. So I don't know, it's crazy. The overall ideas that it plays with make you think a little bit about how you would kind of proceed if this was a reality. Yeah, I mean, I do think that it would probably stop more premeditated crimes because people don't want to get caught. Is there like a percentage that you're okay with? Not you, I'm not putting you on the spot, but like if, if this was a real thing and they're like, well, yeah, it's 99% accurate. And it's like, oh, that's good enough. So 1% of people are going into this they, jail. Yeah, they're going to that horrible prison because they had the thought of doing something, but they didn't act on it. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. So I don't like it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, I, I don't think this is ever going to be a reality. I, I mean, 30 years. We got 30 years. We have 30 years for people to all of a sudden start seeing the future. <laughs> so we'll see. But there was definitely stuff in the movie that I do not want at all, which is those little spiders. Spider. We all know how much you love spiders. I know. I hate spiders. I can't imagine mechanical ones that just break into your house. <laughs> and then you just have to stop what you're doing I, so yeah, you just, and your so eyeball. You just crawl which on my your, face. Your second biggest fear is people touching your eyeballs. Right. It goes spiders and then anything to do with my eyes. <laughs> so this was just a horror show for me. Yeah. If you ever wonder why Daniel doesn't wear contacts. I can't touch my eyes. No one can touch your eyes. <laughs> So, I really enjoyed this movie. It was really fun to watch it again. Was there, it like Fight Club? No, I was just about to say there's other movies where I feel like watching it a second time drastically changed things. This was just a fun experience to watch it again. Fight Club, I feel like there's just so much that you miss the first time you watch it. Yeah. That watching it again, you can pick up on so much more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can pick up on a lot on this, but it's not really the same. Yeah, it's mostly, I'm assuming, mostly kind of kept a mystery more. Where Fight Club, it's like in your face and you're just missing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like this is intentional to just throw you off until the end. Whereas Fight Club is just like, I've been telling you the whole time, you just weren't seeing it. <laughs> this was just fun, but I think for you it was something that was fun, but filled with twists and turns. Yeah, no, I mean, I like to think that I'm pretty good at catching things, but there's still so many twists in this that I just like didn't catch, or I would catch in like the five second lead up to it just being exposed anyways. I mean, you were on to Colin Farrell's demise and Lamar killing him pretty early. I feel like a few minutes before it actually happened. Yeah, th- I mean, I definitely think if I had never seen LA Confidential, I don't think that I would have caught that. But that moment just like immediately took me back to that. I think that I just got very suspicious. And at that moment too, Colin Farrell's character just seemed so good that I was like, wait, wait a, a minute, <laughs> if you're the good guy, then you have to be the bad guy. Like it's kind of where it came from. But yeah. seeing that 
Agatha's mom was the one that got murdered. Right. Um, didn't see that coming. And that was very clever, like very clever how that they kind of played that off. Like, oh, it was going to be an echo. The tech was going to get rid of it. Like yeah. all of that stuff. It was very clever how they did that. I didn't remember the specifics of how he faked it. I thought he just like uploaded something else. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it, he watched it and then just repeated it. That was a very impressive way to kind of sneak through that system. Obviously, only he probably could because he knows it so well. Yeah, and he's so high up. But for it to come down to just the way that the wind is blowing the water is, that was crazy. Yeah. So I love this movie. I think it's great. It's a ton of fun, action packed, and it was a ton of fun watching you experience it and kind of figure out what the heck is going on. Yeah, no, I love this. I'm very glad that the patrons voted for it. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.